This is Short Hammer. It's the 29th of October, 2019. And I wanted to review Amazon. So if you're looking at Amazon in the five minute, what happened was at the open, we had a slight sell. And what you'd like to watch on Amazon are the pre-market open range levels, meaning these were the lows of the post and pre-market. Post being the market yesterday after the close and the pre being the market today before the open. So you watch the post market levels and up here, this drop and you watch pre market. A lot of people only watch pre market. They don't really care about post market. But if you look here, we see that we push down, but we really, we did not close below the 1742s the pre-market lows. So some people will automatically go long here with the stop here of the yellow dashed line, which is the main intraday pivot. So we have a zone here and a zone is an area where there's been significant selling and buying action and it creates an area where you have supply and demand. So this supply and demand zone is here. It also happens to be the bottom of a channel that Amazon had spent a lot of time in over the past few months. The 1747-ish area by the 1833s. And we spent a lot of time in there going from the bottom of that channel to the top of that channel, then back down to the bottom, dropping through the bottom of that to the 1705s and lower them back up. And it's, it's just been an interesting area. So that's a side note. So if you're playing this, you could have gotten in here I probably would not have, but you could have gotten in here with the stop of a close below the 1740. If you got it on these dips here, that's about a three or $4 stop, $5 stop on Amazon. That's not bad. So me, I'm waiting for this to buy back up. We're here above the weekly pivot. So someone that was using the uh, pivot strategy or even the zone strategy could have gotten long on a pushback above the 1747 and gotten long in here. If you wanted to me, I'm waiting for the 1756. So the 1756 for me is like a swing door below a little bit more bearish above a little bit more bullish as far as Amazon is concerned. So once we pushed up through the 1756, I'll wait for the back test and I'll get long on this, this candle here on this back test of the 1756. My stop being the low of the previous candle, 1752. So as long as we stayed above that, I would be long Amazon. And this thing rides up and runs right into the monthly pivot here, this blue dash line at 1766. Now, if you have multiple contracts, this is where you scale 50%. So once you scale out of the 50% of your contracts, you have 50% left. And this is pushing up. My next level above this is the 1776 slash 1777 area, which is an area that has been a supply area in Amazon. We've hit it and gone down. And when we've been above, we've tagged it to the downside and gone up. So it's been sort of switching between supply and demand, depending on if we're above or below that level. Right now it's a supply level. So on this push up, we, can, we, we don't need to scale out any contracts. We can wait, waiting to tap this line. So you can either, if you choose on this push, you all right, that's another let's see, seven bucks up. So on this push, you can choose to scale out another 25% of your contracts if you're in contracts or another 25% of your shares, or you can hold for the break and close back below the 1766. We went back, tapped it, tapped again, and the buyer stepped in and they're pushing us up. The difference is here, we're now grinding up where on this run, it was like a rocket ship. So you can choose on any of these to scale out or wait for us to touch this line here. And that is a potential um, exit on Amazon, either of all the rest of your, um, your shares or contracts. Or if you wanted to just take off another 25, 30% and ride a few, that's a choice also. Right now with the state of the market, I'm not swinging much of anything. Um, maybe a couple of... Uh, complex verticals or calendars but the majority of naked plays meaning either to the call side the put side or just shares i am 
playing intraday because there's so much range on so many different tickers intraday. But that was the Amazon setup for today that you could have taken. And there really was not, if you really, really wanted to short, you could have tried to catch a pullback here, but that really wasn't the play. The play was the run up. And if you looked at the broader market at the open, the rest of the market was pushing up and breaking out. And Amazon was one of the few big uh, major names that was downtrending. And so what you usually look for, what I look for when I'm playing Amazon, I keep an eye on the spy and I keep an eye on Amazon, I keep an eye on Microsoft, I keep an eye on Apple. And I'm watching these tickers to see how they're moving. And if the other ones are up and Amazon is down, I watch to see when do they sink. And once Amazon sink to the upside above a previous supply zone or supply line, which would be the 1756, the SD line, I'm going long expecting continuation because the market trend is bullish. 